hey guys what is up how are you doing today it has been a while since i uploaded a video on the channel trust me a lot of things have been happening from getting a new job to getting my channel monetized there are a lot of things i want to really talk about but i'm going to space them out and talk about them in various other videos so for this comeback i just decided to make a video where i'm going to be talking about mostly the gadgets that i use that are my top productivity gadgets right productivity in this sense simply means anything that saves me time and money and i was thinking about doing one for apps that i use on my phone but this video is just going to be for gadgets or electronics or stuff like that that i use at home or at the office that make my life easier and save me time and money because we all know that time and money is very very important so this video, I don't want it to come across as me flexing on anybody. In fact, I don't even think I can flex on you guys because I know you guys are ballers. All my subscribers, all my viewers are all ballers. You guys are balling. But I know you guys are ballers, right? I know you have money. I know you have it all sorted out. But I'm just using this video to help you guys. Probably you've been spending money in the wrong way. This video is going to help you, you know, think of things a little more differently and help you spend that money the right way. I'm going to get right into the video right now the first device i'm going to talk about has to be my apple macbook pro my apple macbook pro has to top that list because it's had is my number one saver of time and money guys i remember when i used to use like different other stems other pcs and you know always having to bother about you know the thing hanging it getting slow over time and i want to tell you guys that i've never ever ever experience my system hang and i think that's one of the good things about having a system like the apple macbook because it just saves you a lot of things that you, you, a lot of time that you really don't know that is being used on you know unnecessary stuff you just save it by having something like that so that's why the macbook tops it for me is my number one productivity tool it helps me save a lot of time helps me save a lot of money i'm sure it has saved me a lot of money already even in ways that i may not start to know about now so that's why it tops that list the apple macbook pro and uh, you know people are always saying oh should i use apple should i use macbook well, um, or should i use windows rather and i noticed that basically when i moved over to macbook i stopped worrying about most of those other things like specs you know the ram the storage because the thing just works it doesn't hang i just open it i just you know slip it when i when i want to use it i just wake it up and i just keep using like it's like it's like a third hand for me right it's not like it's not an additional thing i have to do it's just like it just flows it's just seamless so that's part of the reason why i use it and that's it's been saving me a lot of time and money and um if you are looking to get it if you've been if you've been on the fence before about getting it this should actually tip you over the fence to the side of getting it right so just get it you're really going to love it. it's going to save you a lot of time and money that's what i have to say so the second gadget i'm going to talk about has to be my mifi devices now depending on where you live in the world unlimited internet may seem like a foreign concept to you but if you are based in a third world country like nigeria you know that data is life data is very important many people are always worried about their data running out and being online and that's why my mifi devices come second on this list i always make sure that i have unlimited internet at any time of the day because my work requires that I have to be online most of the time. So I use two main networks. I have multiple devices, but then I have two main uh, MiFi devices. I use Smile and uh, Intel, and I subscribe for the unlimited plan. So I'm always online. And it's something I recommend everybody do, uh, does. Uh, you know, you just need to have unlimited internet because you never know what you may need. And having unlimited internet is just good practice, right? It's just good practice. Uh, that's why, you know, I make videos about uh, you know how to make money in case you don't have money and you're saying you don't have money to buy data i make videos showing you how to do that so check out other videos on my channel learn how to make money and make sure you have unlimited internet but all i'm going to say is that my MiFi devices are second on that list because they save me a lot of time and money especially when you compare how much you pay for data individually and then you just look at getting an unlimited plan even though some of them to be honest they're not really unlimited but the ones i use currently they are mostly unlimited and they work very well so i'll just say get uh, an unlimited mifi and you know it's going to work very well for you the third almighty saver of time and money has to be my inverter now again this is another thing that if you live in a first world country you might not be able to relate to because you always have light 
But if you are based in Nigeria or any other third world country, you know that having constant light is an issue. So that's why I have my inverter. But in this case, I'm talking about my keep work, which is basically a power bank slash inverter that I use at home to always have, you know, connection for my laptop, for my devices, making sure everything is charged. And I can also power my TV once in a while. It powers my fan. Uh, it powers, you know, some other devices. I just plug in and, you know, I just have light. So it really saves a lot of time and money. Trust me. And another reason why I went for it is because I'm not a generator kind of person. I really don't like the noise from generators. And even where I stay, there are no generators allowed. So I just had to find something else that works and fills in that gap. The keep work I use, I'm not, um, they didn't pay me to talk about this product, but I'm just saying it because it's a good product. Uh, I can charge it with light. You can charge it using your car charger. You can use um, solar. It comes with a solar panel that I can use to charge it. So it's a pretty good device. It's a pretty good investment. Let me use that word. It's a pretty good investment and it's really going to save a lot of time and money for you if you decide to get it just as it has been doing for me. The next thing I'm going to talk about has to be my Apple Watch. You see, I kind of spaced it out because I didn't want to start talking about everything Apple first. But my Apple Watch, as you can see right here, which I have on my wrist, is a very huge time and money saver. And it saved me money and even time in a lot of ways that I may not even realize now. But then I use my Apple Watch uh, because it works perfectly with my Mac. So it syncs with my Mac uh, to listen to music, to track my sleep to uh, check my stats when I'm running or when I'm doing exercises. And it just has a, a bunch of other cool features. Like the newest update came with a lot of new features. Uh, some are just there, some features are just there. Why some features are actually very useful, especially with COVID-19. Uh, one of the most notable features that is in the new update is this hand washing feature. So if you wear your watch and you're washing your hand, you see a notification telling you that you need to wash your hand for like, you know, 20 seconds before the, the timer will stop. Um, sometimes even if you go out, like if you go out and you come in, the watch will remind you to wash your hand. You know, sometimes if you are sitting down too much, you notice you are sitting down, it will remind you to, you know, stand up and walk up and down, you know, just stuff like that, that makes your life easier. And then for music as well, when I'm listening to music at work or even at home, uh, I don't have to switch over from devices. I just use my watch to control the volume and uh, that's it right so it just saves time for you honestly it just saves time and if you can afford to get it and uh, if you can afford to get it just get it because it's really going to save you a lot of time and money in the long run uh the newest addition to this list which i just got has to be a mini washing machine now <laughs> what's, what's very interesting about this washing machine is that i've been stalling this purchase for a very long time because i really didn't see the need or probably because i don't know i like you know thinking about it now i don't even know why i delayed so much in getting this because this washing machine has really saved me a lot of time and money i'm someone that doesn't like to wash clothes honestly and most times when my clothes are dirty i just take everything and go to the laundromat and the thing going to, to the laundromat is like it's almost a full day activity i have to be there uh you know make sure that i'm in line you know if there's more people there i have to wait for them to finish Put on my clothes inside wait for the clothes to wash take it to the dryer dry it again and before you know that day is just gone so it's like i dedicate just one full day to going to the laundry and that's not even to talk about the traffic and everything that is involved so going to the laundromat ah i i guess i i i, I really don't know what was my excuse for waiting up to this time but getting a, a washing machine has really saved me a lot of time and money as I have it at home here, when I want to wash, I simply just turn it on, pour water, put the soap. My washing is done. I'm doing other things at home. And then once it finishes, I move it over to the spinner. It spins it and the clothes comes out almost dry. I just spread it for like a few minutes and it's dry. And in the space of time that I used to wash, I'm still at home. I'm still getting other work done. I'm doing every other thing. So getting a washing machine at home it really really changed uh, the game for me if you are thinking about it also i don't see why you should keep delaying just get one it's really going to save you a lot of time and money and for someone like me that doesn't even like washing my hand always pay me when i wash so i'd rather not do it i'll just use the washing machine the only thing i'm praying to see an invention for is something that irons clothes for me because ironing is something else that 
I mean, I do all these things very well, though. It's not as if I cannot iron. And it's not as if I cannot wash. But the ironing thing is that I just don't like it. If I had a choice, I would not do it. So if I can see a device that will help me iron my clothes, I'll be very, very happy. If you guys know any device that does something like that, just comment it. Uh, drop it in the comment section so I can check it out. But then, yeah, the washing machine really helps. And it saved me a lot of time and money. I'll try and put the links to the one I got in the description so you can check it out on Jumia if you're in Nigeria. Or you can just check your local um supermarkets or electronic store and you probably have one that would suit your needs next up is my apple airpods so if you know anything about apple you know that they basically try to create an ecosystem around all their devices and if you're using a device that is not in the ecosystem you kind of feel left out you feel like you feel incomplete that's the word so i noticed that i just had to get the airpods honestly i had airpods before but the first one got missing and I, when it got missing, that's when I realized how much I really needed it. Because the ports for listening to music on the iPhone and the one for the MacBook are completely different. So if I had to get um, headphones to use with them, I have to get one different one for the phone. I have to get another different one for the system. And it just didn't make sense, right? If I was listening to music, that convenience is not there. So I have to plug in and plug out and, you know, change the ears and all that. So I just had to get the AirPods. And with the new updates on macOS, Big Sur, and um, on the iPhone as well, all you have to do to switch over to music on any of the devices is just to click one button, and then it automatically switches. So everything is paired. Once you pair your AirPods with your iPhone, it automatically connects to iCloud, and it's connected to all your devices. That includes your MacBook, your watch, and your phone. So everything is just connected to the AirPods. If you want to switch music, you simply just click a button and it switches over. Very, very easy, very convenient, saves you a lot of time, saves you extra money that you'll have used to buy earpiece. So <laughs> you can see just from what I described that the AirPods saves you a lot of time and money. So AirPods is something that you should get. If you got anything else I talked about that is an Apple gadget, you need to complete it by having the AirPods, AirPods 2 or AirPods Pro, any of the AirPods that you decide to get. Get the original one, don't get the fake one that says the Bluetooth device is ready to pair. So get the original one and you're going to notice the efficiency in your work and production. And last but not the least has to be my iPhone. I'm using an iPhone 11 and the iPhone 11 is a very versatile device. I think I've said enough about Apple in this video because this video may come across as just being an Apple um, appreciation video. But honestly, you can see that the bulk of my devices are things that save my time and money. And Apple as a product, as a brand, created their products to suit that particular lifestyle. To just save you time and money. You don't have to start bothering about the tech aspect of things. You just use a device. You open it and out of the box, it just works. So my phone is a very high productivity device. I use my phone for everything from checking alerts to business emails to answering calls. You know, everything just happens on my phone. Um, I mean, you know all the features of a phone now. If you're watching this, you're probably watching it on, on a phone. So you know what a phone does for you. But then the iPhone does it in a very fast way that you don't have to even bother about other things that are happening in the background. Recently, I picked up someone's phone and I was going through the phone. And for the first time in like, in like a few years, I noticed that the phone was actually hanging. And it felt like a foreign experience because I honestly can't remember the last time that my phone hanged for anything. I can't remember it. So holding that phone just brought back memories of when I used to be on, you know, the other OS. And, you know, occasionally I would use the phone and it would start hanging after a while. And I was just like, ah, thank God for iPhone. No. Because with my iPhone, I've never experienced the phone hanging. So that's just another benefit. And the apps, everything just works. So that is the video right there for you. Those are the gadgets that have saved me a lot of time and money. Which ones did you love the most? Tell me the ones that you use and how you're using them and how they've been working out well for you. If there's any other devices in your life that you feel probably I should get and try out that's going to save me time and money as well, let me know them in the comment section below it feels so good to be back here on youtube i never left by the way i've still been here i've been attending to people in the comment section giving advice in my telegram group so i've always been here i love you guys i see all the support so thank you very much 
do make sure if you haven't already to subscribe like the video and comment tag your friends and watch out for the next video because it's going to be a banger i can't wait to see you guys in the next one till then peace